Hey everyone, I'm Brian with AromaCup.com and thanks as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by AromaCup.com. I've got a triple comparison for you today. I'm going to be showing you pretty much the three best single serve espresso options that do all in one brewing. And I'm talking about not just brewing espresso, but also allowing you to make milk based espresso drinks, cappuccinos, lattes, things like that. So I'm going to do a try comparison here. I have the Starbucks Verismo 585 single serve espresso and coffee machine. This is a multi-use machine. In the center here I have the Keurig Revo R500 uh, single serve espresso machine. This is just an espresso machine and it's a tank of one might I add. And then I have the Nespresso Latissima Plus single serve espresso machine from Nespresso. All of these have a lot of different features, and again, the commonality between them is that they allow you to do one-stop shop brewing for making an espresso-based drink using milk. And so we're gonna talk about the different features between each one because they are very different and you're gonna to wanna to decide what it is that you want out of your machine. So let's dive in, talk about the comparison between all three of these machines. The commonality, again, between all these machines is that they can do milk-based espresso beverages. So let's talk about the differences between each of them. Now, the Nespresso Latissima Plus, which I've recently reviewed, and you're going to want to check out the video on this because it's a very cool machine. This machine allows you to froth milk using a built-in milk pitcher, and it does all of the work for you automatically. It'll froth your milk, and then it'll brew your espresso and do it all in essentially the press of one button. So that's really cool. You can use any type of milk that you want. Soy, almond, regular milk, lactose-free, whatever it is that you want to use, you can use in this machine. Of course, different types of milk will give you different amounts of froth and, of course, flavor, but very easy to use on the Latissima Plus. In the center here on the Keurig uh, R500, the Revo, this also allows you to froth any type of milk that you would want, and it does it using this milk pitcher right here, which is removable. And you simply pull it out, and after you've pulled it out, you can put your desired amount of milk into it. You do want to choose how much you're going to actually add based on how much froth and what kind of beverage it is that you're going to be making. But again, you can use your own milk. You can use soy and any other different options that you might want to use. And the machine has various options for doing uh, cappuccino, latte, and cold uh, froth milk. Now that's something that the Nespresso Latissima Plus does not have. It cannot do cold froth milk. So that is something that this uh, R500 has over all of the other machines. Um, in that sense, it can do cold froth, which is pretty cool. And of course it does real milk. Now, when we move over here to the Starbucks Verismo uh, 585, cool machine, also definitely a tank of a machine. And it will allow you to do milk-based drinks, but it does not use real milk, it doesn't use liquid milk. It uses uh, Verismo pods. Those pods have a powdered milk uh, inside of them and the Verismo turns that milk uh, powder into milk when you actually make your beverage. Let's talk about another major comparison between these and it's just a quick one. And that's that the 585 can do regular coffee and espresso as well as milk-based espresso drinks. And of course you could use that milk for coffee as well. Whereas the Latissima Plus and the R500, they are simply espresso machines. They are meant just for espresso. You can, of course, make Americanos if you want and drink espresso as if it were regular American style coffee, but they don't use coffee pods. They don't use regular coffee pods to make regular coffee. So that's something to keep in mind when you're kind of comparing between these machines and the features that you want. So we need to talk about pricing of the machines and the overall cost of your beverage because you need to take that into account when you're comparing machines. What are you going to spend just to make a beverage? And that's important uh, because, of course, you buy the machine, you still have to buy the pods to make the beverage. So let's start with the Verismo 585 by Starbucks. The machine itself, at the making of this video, retails for about $399. So a higher price point, but allows you to do a number of different beverages, hot coffees, teas, and those espresso-based drinks. But the thing to make note of here is that those espresso-based drinks, they need to use two pods because remember, you need to use a milk pod as well as a coffee pod, an espresso pod, in order to actually brew. Those pods work out to about a dollar a piece. 
So for an average beverage out of the Verismo 585, you're looking at two bucks per beverage, and maybe a little more if you decide to make it stronger and use two espresso pods or something like that, or maybe more milk. So that certainly starts to put the price up there. I could see you spending maybe nearly four bucks a beverage out of the 585. Tough thing there is it starts to make you wonder, should you just go to a Starbucks instead of doing it at home? That's up to you to decide, but that is something worth noting because as I move over to the other two machines, the R500 and the Latissima Plus, these are much less expensive because A, you can use your own milk and a gallon of milk isn't gonna cost you too much. The pods don't cost as much either. On the Latissima Plus, on average, you're gonna pay about 75 cents a pod for an espresso ground crew capsule. So that's not too bad. You're looking at 75 cents plus some milk. Your overall beverage cost is still essentially under a dollar when you come right down to it. On the R500 by Keurig, you're looking at about 83 cents per capsule. And then of course you get to use your own milk. So still probably just under a dollar when you really come down to it. So the savings, overall is a little bit different. Now, of course, the pricing on these machines is also going to add to that. On the Latissima Plus, you're looking at $399 for the machine itself at the making of this video. On the R500, you're looking at about $229. So the Latissima Plus is a little more expensive, costs just as much as the Verismo 585, but its overall per beverage cost is gonna be lower than the Verismo. And then here on the R500, you're looking at a lower cost machine in general, $229, and of course a lower cost for your overall beverage. So overall investment, when we're talking about machine plus cost per beverage, the R500 is going to win there when you come right down to it. Less cost per beverage, less cost for the machine. And then your next runner up after that is the Latissima Plus. But Let's talk real quickly, comparing here, about beverage quality between them. I think that's important to note. Personally, and of course, everything is subjective, when, and you're going to want to make your own decision, but personally, I find the Latissima Plus, for quick and easy espresso drinks, and I think for overall flavor, it definitely wins. It does everything in one quick press of a button, and it's a really awesome, fast machine. After that, I would give the next runner-up slot to the R500, you have that milk pitcher, you can do all your own milk and you can do the espresso and it's got a lot of different options for doing those. And of course it has the cold froth option, which is pretty cool. I do like that very much. And then as I move over to the Verismo 585, again, good machine, has a lot of different options. I probably don't like the beverage quality as much out of it when I compare it to these other two machines. Uh, I find that because I have to use powdered milk pods, it just kind of affects the overall flavor. I don't get the froth that I really want out of, a, out of a cappuccino or a latte. It's just not as specialized. It's a cool machine and it does a lot of different things, but it just falls a little bit short there. But remember, this is all going to be subjective. You are going to want to make your own decision. But of course, if you want to see more about how these machines work, you're going to want to check out our other videos here on aromacup.com to dive into their operation, their overall usage, and all that other information you're going to need to make an educated decision when you're buying one. Let's talk about pod difference on each of these machines because that is important. There's a different amount of coffee in each of the pods and each machine uses a different pod type. Let's start again with the Starbucks Verismo 585. Now it has the largest pod size, nine grams. We've emptied one out and we've measured here so we know that we have the right measurements when you come right down to it. So about nine grams of espresso coffee in that capsule and uh, it is a special type of capsule. This works only with the Verismo machines. You're not going to be able to use this in these other two machines or any other machine made by anybody but, of course, Starbucks. Uh, as we move to the center on the R500 by Keurig, again, it uses... Keurig has introduced a number of different capsules. I think they win, actually, for having the most types of capsules. Uh, so this is a new capsule. It's a, it's a Revo capsule. And it's a different form factor than any of the others. You're looking at eight grams of espresso coffee in this capsule. And of course, it's only going to be able to be used with the Revo machine. Finally, over here on the Latissima Plus, you have a seven gram capsule. And uh, it's overall, I think, actually still my favorite. And one of the things that I love about Nespresso that I have to say is they haven't changed their Grand Cru capsule design at all. You can use these Grand Cru capsules in any Nespresso machine, which is really awesome. So if you decide to buy a new Nespresso machine and you still have a bunch of Grand Cru capsules, 
you can use those capsules in that machine, whereas you know, if you upgrade on a Keurig or something like that, you end up getting into a new capsule type. Uh, the other thing I should note real quickly is just what these capsules are made of. Uh, the uh, <clears throat> Verismo 5, um, 585 and the R500 by Keurig, these are plastic. They have foil tops on them. Uh, plastic, some folks are going to be more sensitive and taste that in their brew a little bit more. Thing I do like on the Nespresso again, their capsules are made of aluminum. And so that's a little bit more inert. It's going to get less of that flavor into your coffee and just give you the most flavor that you want, which is simply coffee. As I say, this is all subjective. Some folks may taste that a little bit more. I see varying degrees based on how often I'm brewing and what I'm brewing and things like that. Let's do the bottom line on all these machines. Obviously, there's tons of different features. Check out our other videos to be able to really dive in. I didn't even get a chance to brew today. There's so much to talk about. So check out our other videos. But bottom line, uh, for quick and easy and just one-stop shop, the Latissima Plus is going to win when you really come down to it. It's super easy to use. It does a great milk froth, and it brews a really nice shot of espresso. So it definitely wins when it comes to ease of use. And overall form factor, it's small and easy to fit on a countertop. Um, the R500 by Keurig, definitely a very cool machine. It wins in one major way over the others in that it can do cold froth. Neither of these machines, the other machines, can do that, and that's something to keep in mind. Um, and it is a great machine, but remember, it only does espresso, just like the Latissima Plus. Finally, on the Verismo 585, this machine wins in overall number of beverages and types of beverages that it can do, because it can do those espresso drinks, and it can also do hot teas and hot coffees, and therefore a good number of different types of beverages that you can make. It definitely does not win in the milk uh, area of things because you have to use powder milk pods. So depending on what you're looking for, if you really want real frothed milk, you're going to want to go with an espresso or a Keurig. That's just the bottom line. If you want a really good all-in-one machine, going to make coffee and all those other beverages, check out the Verismo 585 by Starbucks. So there you go. That is a try overview and comparison between these three machines. The commonality, of course, between each of them is that you can make milk-based espresso drinks and I've talked about a lot of the different options. Now, if you want to find out ways that you can get these machines, check out the, link the links in the description of our video. That's how you can find out how you can add these machines to your own at-home coffee shop. Make sure to like our videos here on uh, aromacup.com. Please subscribe to us as well. And finally, visit us at aromacup.com where you can join our forums, find recipes, videos, information, talk with other coffee lovers, find everything that you need to help demystify the world of coffee because that's what we do best here at aromacup.com. I hope this has been useful to you guys as always. I'm Brian. I want to thank you for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Enjoy your cup and I'll see you next time. Take care.